Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So today we're going to be looking at not a particular problem, but a particular concept, which is minimizing DFAs. And you may be thinking, well, this is just completely unrelated to all of the closure properties that we have done before. But it actually is relevant because of the structure of DFAs. And from the fact that we know how DFAs work, we can actually show that we can get minimum size DFAs out of this. So if I have a particular DFA and I can somehow find a smaller DFA for it, then there is a way to do that and it's efficient. So here, what do we mean by minimize DFAs? We mean the smallest number of states that recognizes the exact same language as before. So for example, if we have uh, this DFA right here, Q0 with two states on it. So, and, so this recognizes all uh, odd length strings which just have zeros in them. So it recognizes one zero or three zeros or five zeros, etc. And you can show that this is the smallest possible. But if I have this DFA, for example, oops, did that wrong. So then let's just say we have this particular DFA, which is bigger. So it has four states, and now I'm going to make final these two. Maybe I should put an R there. So we have two different DFAs. Well, what does this one recognize? What language does this thing recognize? Well, notice that it recognizes all the odd length strings of zeros because if we have, note that there are four states. So if I have a multiple number of, uh, multiple of four length string plus one, then we end up here. If we have a multiple of four plus three, then we end up here, and every odd number is either a, is a multiple of four plus one or plus three. So in fact, these two DFAs recognize the exact same language. This one recognizes the same as this one, but clearly this one is smaller. So why can, is there a way that we can transform this guy into this guy? So it turns out that it's possible because Let's actually think of this DFA over here in a slightly different way. So I'm going to draw um, these dashed lines around two states right here, the zero and the two state. And I'm gonna draw one for around the other two states. So if you think about it, if you're in the orange, one of the orange two states, then you can, whatever you do, from whichever one you are in, you will always go to a purple state. And if you're in one of the purple states, you go to one of the orange states. And further, it's not possible for a string, uh, two different strings, such that if, if we're in the purple states, one of them is accepted and one of them isn't. Because both of the states here are not final and both of the states here are final. And from that information, we can actually deduce, hey, the, pur the purple states here can be reduced to a single state because you can treat them as they're doing the same thing. They're always going to an orange state. So assuming that all of the orange states are exactly the same and all of the purple states are considered the same with regard to accepting a string, then we can actually collapse these two states and these two states as one state each and then have a transition in between. So that's actually the whole idea behind minimizing a DFA. So how do you actually show this in, in a more general context? Let's just say that we have a DFA right here. So this is a DFA. It has a start state or whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to have, and let's say it's three final states, and here are some other states that it has. What we're going to do first is we're going to split the states of the DFA into two different pieces. 
uh, without regard to thought of what the DFA actually does, we're going to split them into final states over here, initially final states over here, and all of the non-final states over here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do initially. Now, what we're and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the left side uh, group one, and the other side I'm going to call group two. Okay, so we can't have a final state and a non-final state in the same group because they're not considered the same in terms of accepting a string. One accepts, could accept a string and the other one can't because one of them is final and the other one isn't. So we're treating every state within a particular group, at least for right now, as being the same state in terms of what is accepting and in terms of what the state actually does. So now let's consider some scenarios. So let's say that in group one over here, we have one state uh, have a transition on A and B, and they happen to go to these two states, 